guys, I'm Sammy filling in for Brian here at Battle and Brew Harry Potter Cosplay Night. We're going to be asking the fans some cool questions regarding their favorite fandom, of course, Harry Potter. So without further ado, let's get into this. Refill my beer. Beerus refilio. Oh, I was going to say it would clean my room so I don't have to, but I think they have one for that. Um, but that would benefit my life greatly. Or like one that would levitate stuff like along my wall so I wouldn't have to put up shelves because it's a rented apartment. <laughs> I'd say teleportation, but that's our thing, and that's what makes us better than most people. Otherwise, I would cast a create a spell that would make more people look gorgeous like me, as sad and beautiful and bored as a Lana Del Rey song. Severosa Glamorosa. Like any kind of spell that you could create that allow you to be in more pla one or more places more than once, like be able to kind of create duplicates of yourself. That way, you know, you could sit home, play PlayStation or whatever while you're working. You know, get everything done all at once. I think that'd be a big help. Um, I don't know. I I, I think that Harry should have given Cho a chance, honestly. Although, aside from couplings, uh, Snape should have been Harry's real father. That would have been so such a better story. Honestly. <laughs> My ship from Harry Potter that's not canon. Ooh. You know, there was one fan fiction that paired the giant squid with Hogwarts Castle. There was one fan fiction that paired the uh, giant squid with Hogwarts Castle. Uh, no, giant squid and Hogwarts Castle. It was weird. Don't Google it. Um, honestly, Neville. He could have been the one. And Harry Potter just got all the fame, and he got to sit back and save the world. Totally. He was the best backup ever. Harry Potter Neville. Neville, for sure. Neville, sorry. <laughs> Why Neville? I mean, he was just such the underdog, and I always got a root, you know? Came from, like, stuttering and, like, being so cute and pudgy to, like, big, strong hero at the end, so. <laughs> I'd say that... Snape, maybe just because he plays his role very well and everything, like he, you know, is working behind the scenes, gets a bad rap in the movies. I mean, I know the fandom loves him now, but you know, I feel like in the in the books and the movies, you know, he was underappreciated. The whole franchise, eh? Um, I mean, everybody's gonna say Hermione because I think that she really is like the smartest, the brightest. I have a real soft spot for uh, McGonagall. I really feel like she was always this super steady, strong, ethical, had a great moral compass. You know, I, I, I say, I'm going to say, although Hermione is the obvious answer, McGonagall. If you could see one character from dying, what would you say? There's so many to choose from, but for me personally, it's got to be Hedwig. It's got to be. Because I love my owls. I love that beautiful little owl. I want her back so bad. It makes sense because you're happy. It does. It does. I also love owls as a person. And it's just like, no! <laughs> Cedric Diggory. <laughs> it was just so sad. When I was watching it, I was like, no! Why? So, yeah, I just... I just feel like he needs to have a better ending because he was really trying like to have Harry like finish and get out. So yeah. Knowing America. Knowing America, I'd probably say that right now it would be some sort of like pug ferret hybrid of an animal and it would represent memes like dank memes and um, reddit yeah that's so that's the house is the dank memes reddit house with pug ferrets <laughs>